The ruling ZANU PF party yesterday demanded that opposition leader Nelson Chamisa's newly formed Citizens Coalition for Change (CCC) be barred from using the color yellow. Chamisa last week dumped the MDC alliance name, saying it had become toxic and unveiled CCC, which uses the color yellow, departing from the MDC A red. Soon after the launch, party supporters and celebrities initiated a campaign to promote the brand and color a development that has apparently angered the ruling party, which now wants to usurp the color. Yesterday, at the launch of the ZANU PF by election campaign in St. Mary's, Chittinguiza, ruling party's Politburo members insisted that Chamisa's CCC party should desist from using the color. ZANU PF's acting Youth League Secretary Tendai Chirao, Provincial Chairperson Godwills Masimarembwa, Deputy National Political Commissar Omega Hung told dozens of party supporters that Chamisa's party must be ignored as it had nothing to offer, including the yellow color. The ZANU PF party leaders described CCC's pointed finger symbol as satanic. When the liberation struggle was fraught, it was ZANU PF that mobilized the masses and one of the key fundamentals was the fight for mineral resources, the fight for independence and that is why ZANU PF chose yellow as one of its colors. The reason was because it was symbolizing the national resources in terms of mineral wealth, Chirao said. So these minerals we still have them up to this day, and this explains why Zimbabwe has the largest number of artisanal miners and indigenous people who own minerals. Yellow, to us, represents wealth, it's not just the color that we took on ourselves, but most importantly, you should also take the fact that we have four colors, that is, green and yellow, red and black. These colors will never change because of someone who wants to take them. They remain our colors, they symbolize the importance of the rich minerals that we have. Chirao said ZANU PF was formed before the MDC was born and, therefore, would maintain its symbols, including colors. Masimarembwa weighed in saying, they want to shine with the yellow color. Yellow has always been a ZANU PF color. It is our special color as ZANU PF because we brought independence. Yellow represents the wealth of the country. The wealth of this country was brought in the country from whites by ZANU PF and not by CCC. Dottie said ZANU PF supporters should not be ashamed of wearing yellow as it belonged to the ruling party. Hung also weighed in describing Chamisa's new outfit as satanic, adding that the Chittinguiza voters, who have consistently voted against ZANU PF since 2000, should now be wiser. Voting for MDC or CCC shows that you are lost. Do you know what CCC means? It's an animal that was spoken about in the Book of Revelations, and it means being used by the devil or the beast, she claimed. In line with the claims by ZANU PF leaders, police last Thursday arrested five CCC activists and charged them with public nuisance for allegedly wearing yellow regalia. Police claimed the five were arrested for blocking a pavement and disturbing the flow of human traffic in central Harare. In response to the ZANU PF claims, CCC spokesperson Fidzei Mahir said, Yellow is a color that symbolizes hope, energy, and a fresh start. The CCC citizen movement has thrown ZANU PF into panic mode, so they are desperately trying to dampen the spirits of the people who are ready to win the nation for change. They won't succeed. CCC is here to stay. CCC is here ready to lead. CCC is ready to secure victory. Dot observers say ZANU PF is fretting over Chamisa's newly found mojo after he opted not to fight former MDC Alliance Secretary General Douglas Munzara over the MDC Alliance name. Chamisa accuses Munzara of being used by President Emerson Nangagwa 
to decimate the biggest opposition party. Recently, ZANU PF Secretary for Finance, Patrick Chinamasa took to Twitter to warn Chamisa against forming the CCC party, saying he was playing with fire. Chamisa needs to be warned that he is playing with fire abusing the democratic space and the rights and freedoms that were won for the people of Zimbabwe on the battlefield. Those with eyes, let them eye, and those with ears let them hear, Chinamasa said.